Welcome back to Learn Chinese with Shushan. This is Shushan. Today we are going to discuss the topic of what may us to say. 穿衣服不戴帽子 So there are two ways to say to wear in Chinese. That is 穿 and 戴 But what is their difference? That is what we are going to discover today. So in today's lesson. Firstly, I am going to give you the observation. Then I will tell you the reason. And in the last part of today's lesson,、um, we will see a bunch of sentence examples together to see how they are being used in daily life. So let's get started. 我们开始吧 Now, firstly, let me give you the observations. That is the examples of the objects that follows both 穿 and 戴 So we say, 穿衣服，穿裤子，穿裙子，穿袜子，穿鞋子。But with 戴 we say, 戴眼镜，戴帽子，戴围巾，戴手表，戴耳机。Now I will give you a little bit of time to think about what is the similarity of these two groups. So, chuan and dai. Okay, time's up. <laughs> so now the second so, part is that I'm going to give you the reason. Okay, so so basically, how we wear the things determines that whether we we use the verb chuan or dai. The basic meaning of chuan it's passing through, like a thread. Passing through the needle, so the things like shirts, like the tops, that you when you wear it, when you put it on, you have to pass it through your head, your neck, your arms. This kind of thing,、um, you use chuan. So you will use chuan for tops, for dress, because you have to put it through. And for trousers, pants, and also for socks and shoes, because you have to put it through your feet. But the object that we use with dye, it's something that you can just like easily put on or casually put on, like a hat, a scarf, a watch, any kind of accessories, or earphones, mask. So that is basically. The main differences between them, whatever the things like the main thing that you put it on on your body, then you use chuan. However, the accessory that you just, like simply put it on or add it on,、uh, very casually you use dai.、So、I guess I this is not, not a difficult concept to understand. Let's go over with all the objects together. So with chuan, chuan 衣服 Any kind of tops, for example, 毛衣 sweater, 穿毛衣外套 coat, 穿外套长袖 long sleeve, 穿长袖穿裤子 any kind of pants, for example, 牛仔裤 jeans, 穿牛仔裤运动裤 sports pants, 穿运动裤 Then 穿裙子 any kind of dresses, like a skirt. 短裙，穿短裙 ，like a long dresses， 连衣裙，穿连衣裙，穿鞋子 ，shoes， any kind of shoes， 高跟鞋 ，high heels， 穿高跟鞋，运动鞋 ，sports shoes， 穿运动鞋，拖鞋 ，slipper， 穿拖鞋 ，and any kind of socks。With 戴 ，we have 戴眼镜。When we are cold, 冷的时候，戴帽子，戴围巾，戴手套 ，and all kinds of accessories. 戴 necklace， 戴项链，戴 bracelets， 戴手链，戴手表 ，wear a watch. 戴耳机 ，very useful one. 戴口罩 ，also very useful for now. Wearing mask. Even wear a helmet, 戴头盔 Here are most of the objects that we can see in real life. And now let's do a couple of sentences to see how they used 
in real life. Chuan Prada, the new one. This is the name of the movie. Guess what is the movie? 你穿这么少不冷吗 ？Or 你怎么穿这么多？你今天怎么穿的这么正式？我今天只穿了双拖鞋出来。这件衣服我只穿了几次，现在已经不合身了，给你吧。你穿什么码数？这是我妈妈送给我的裙子，我舍不得穿。这件衣服穿在你身上真好看。我喜欢穿宽松一点的衣服。没去过那么冷的地方，我真不知道该穿什么衣服。不戴眼镜的话，我开不了车。夏天大家都喜欢戴墨镜。这条项链我戴了五年。你说什么？我听不见。我刚才戴着耳机。疫情之后，不戴口罩出门会觉得不习惯。初中的时候，我们班有百分之八十的同学是戴眼镜的。女人要戴耳环才有女人味。外面太晒了，去旅游的时候一定要戴帽子。中国的小学生在学校里一定要戴红领巾。他的右手戴着戒指。The last sentence we have, we use "chuan" and "dai" together. 右边那个穿浅色衣服，戴。大耳环的是我的姐姐。So now, with the observations, with the basic meanings, and the sentence examples, we kind of finish today's lesson. And I hope from now on, you will know when to use "chuan" and when to use "dai." If you do have a pair of vocabulary that is very similar, like "chuan" and "dai," maybe they are verbs, or maybe they are adjectives or nouns, whatever. You can comment down below and ask the questions, and I will try to explain them with the next videos. Thank you for your time, and until next time, 再见。